Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and I am fixing up this Chevy Volt, which looks great on this side, but the other side had quite a bit of body damage, which is why I got a good deal on it. So the very first thing I did was I had to remove the doors. Then I pulled a matching set of doors off of a parts vehicle, and I installed them on this car. I even managed to pull part of the dent in the back out with a suction cup. So overall, not too bad looking other than the mismatched doors. The dent itself really isn't too terrible, although it kind of depends on what angle you take a look at it. There's also a couple of dings above the rear door. So I headed on over to Harbor Freight and I got myself one of those inexpensive paintless dent repair tools. It's basically a fancy hot glue gun and a crossbar to pull on it with. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It looks like it's just a glue gun and a couple other little things in here. So let's open this up, see what's inside. So I just pulled everything out of the box and sure enough, it's a glue gun. It, uh, glue sticks, they don't look like anything special in terms of glue, but they might be. Um, just a little scraper, a dowel. Um, the release agent looks like it might basically just be nail polish. Uh, the crossbar has two tabs. This is a little oval one that's a round one, and it looks like you really do just heat up the glue gun, um, put some glue on here, put that on, and then twist that to pull up. And after you do that, use a little release agent to soften the glue to remove it, and that's it. And while I was at the store, I also saw a little suction cup, and I thought, what the heck, I might give that a try first. Nope. It's a different suction cup. This has a pump on it. So the way these paintless dent removers are supposed to work, first you make sure your surface is clean, and then you take the hot glue gun, you put a dab on the, uh, the back of this pad. Um, I actually found this a little hard to control. Sometimes you'd squeeze a little and get a whole lot of glue out all at once. Um, but just hold it on there for a few seconds, at least enough to set so it's not going to move. And then after that, put the crossbar on. So the crossbar has these two little feet. You just position those flatly against the uh, the surface and then put the knob on in the middle and tighten it down and it'll start to pull the metal up. So let's go into some time lapse. Two reasons for this. One, it's just plain faster and there's a lot of footage, but the other thing is that um, the metal doesn't really move very fast. Um, so by going in time lapse, you can actually see what's going on a little bit better. So right here, you can see that flex how the metal's pulling up, but it's uh, it's very slow. You gotta be patient with this process. So I'm having trouble with the dent puller just popping off. You know, essentially just the, uh, the hot glue itself is snapping. Um, I don't know if that's just cause it's, it's cold out right now. It's about, about freezing um, or if it's just the material or what, but I did pull some of the dent out. It is less than it was before. Um, a little bit with that suction cup and then uh, more with this uh, Harbor Freight hot glue gun dent puller. Um, but it's a start. It did make a little bit of difference. I made some space in my garage to be able to pull it in and work in a warmer space, even if it was a little tighter. Now, if we look up uh, above the door frame, we can see a couple of dings here as well. Uh, so I decided to give those a shot, see if I could pull those out. Um, I'm also looking at the reflections of the lights because those kind of show off exactly where the dings are. Um, sometimes with a single color, it's kind of hard to see the dings except with the reflection of a light. This larger ding up on the top of the door frame, um, I just tried pulling and it definitely helped. I mean, you can still see it's pretty dished out on kind of right through here. 
and it's not the curves not quite following from here but it definitely pulled it out it's kind of more flatter than dished in than it was so I'll just I guess keep trying a couple more times Oh, actually that's a good angle right here. Right here, real clearly, we can see the shape of that dent and where I've been pulling on these. I mean, it's better than it was. So this ding uh, close to the top of the door here, uh, the paint was cut through all the way. So unfortunately right here is not paintless dent repair. Um, I kinda, I'm just pulling up on the paint right this second. Here, watch this. Yeah. Funny thing is the the primer or the base coat under this is almost the exact same color as the silver doors. I knocked down some of the high spot from this dent here that was pulled out just a little bit too far. I used the included tool to tap down the highest bits and I also used the rubber mallet. So uh, this is what it looked like before and then after I hammered it down like that. Before, after. Uh, the other thing I found out is the spot where the paint peeled away, uh, the hot glue really wouldn't stick to the primer that was underneath. So I went back to working on the main dent on the rear fender. And here you can really see a lot of the metal moving. came out quite a bit. Unfortunately, when I loosened it, it sprang back much of the way. But uh, I just kind of kept repeating this, and overall it was lessening the dent. Well, the glue was stronger than the aluminum crossbar, but that's Harbor Freight tools. Buy them, use them until you break them. Well, I got some work done on the fender before I snapped that little Harbor Freight dent puller. Um, over here looks pretty good. A little bit of just in a little bit here, and I'll moving the camera so we can see that light move. So see how it bends around a little spot right through there. That could come out a little further. But the original dent came out pretty far um, and now it's it's shallower. Uh, the other thing is to pull off the interior, uh, go into the trunk and pull off the plastic, see if I can get at some of this from the inside, bang it out from there. Pulling out the interior panel was a little trickier than I thought. I actually had to remove the carpet in the back, then underneath that was kind of the organizer and the cover that goes over the battery. I had to pull out some couple of anchor clips, uh, the back, uh, all to get this one piece uh, to pull it out, remove it to get at the sheet metal. So I was hoping to pull this interior panel away to find a spot to get through to pound out the fender and frankly there's not a whole lot here. Um, it looks like my best spot is there's a square hole here, about eh, about an inch square, and it looks like it's pretty close to coming out to uh, where the dent is on the other side. So I'm hoping I can poke something straight through here and knock this out. I've got a socket extension um, about two feet long, and I just put some tape and hot glue on the end so it wouldn't be so pointy and I'm hoping I can just poke it through and maybe pound that out a little bit so I'll put the camera on the outside and I'll pound on this on the inside. Maybe I can find something similar but a little shorter. I can't see out here and hammer from the inside at the same time so 
So this here is the handle of my hydraulic floor jack. It's a thick but small diameter steel pipe and the end has a rubber handle so I can just stick this through. Rubber shouldn't scratch up this too bad. Uh, but it's a little shorter so I think I can pound from the inside while still looking at this. It was still pretty tough to get nice and close to the door frame, but I did manage to bend some of the metal out. I did also break the paint right there, which wasn't so terrible because right next to it was a, a break in the paint anyways. But essentially, I did make the entire dent less. Here it is the first time just out in daylight again. Doesn't look too bad, and it sort of depends on the angle. You know, over here, it really looks pretty good, but from a different angle with the sun uh, pretty extreme to it, you really see that crease right there. Uh, uh, that crease is going to be a little tricky to get out, you know, maybe a little Bondo and spray paint will fix it. But this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Before and after. Uh, certainly the doors made quite a bit of difference, but even here, that fender really doesn't look too bad. So I hope you like watching these videos. Uh, please check out 300mpg.org, uh, su subscribe to the YouTube channel, and share with your friends. And until next time, stay charged up.